So guys, just before I start this video, I do have one thing to say. Um, before this video, or the day I recorded this video, uh, it was my birthday, and, uh, you will hear me mention on the video that I got this as a gift for my birthday, and that's why I'm doing a review on it. But, uh, I just wanted, uh, to say that, you know, I would be very happy if you guys, as a gift, gave me a subscribe, a like, I mean, even a notification bell, I, I don't know, anything that you could do to support me as a small creator, and everything I'm doing, I'm planning on this year advancing my channel a lot and getting better at content creating. And uh, please let me know if I, if you guys have any tips for me or uh, how I can improve my videos, any of that. Um, obviously, I, I can't control much of, you know, I don't know how nervous I am. I'm not really nervous. It just comes natural. I will get used to it. But um, if you guys have any other things... Or please leave them in the comments below, and uh, that's about all I had to say, so let's get in the video. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, uh, I'm here in my room for a change, because I have uh, something to show you guys that uh, I have recently received for my birthday, and uh, I feel like it would be nice to show you guys, so let's see it. Down here, we have... The Logitech G920 steering wheel. This uh, steering wheel, I got it for my birthday. Uh, it was a little pricey, but um, you know, it's completely fine. It, it's worth it for this price, but I'm going to be doing a, I don't know, a little kind of review of it. I've used it a little bit, and uh, I'm just going to show you guys how I use it in this video and uh, all the power it needs. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's just get into this. So, with the steering wheel here, we have a little underside where all the cords go. Uh, and these right here are locks that are down here. And they lock onto your desk in order for you to uh, kind of have it there and not fall off. It took me a while to kind of get the hang of it, but, you know, it, they, they keep on starting out and uh, it stays on. Now, uh, of course, this is made for an Xbox. Uh, I'm using my PC right now because I don't have an Xbox here. But uh, it works for PC, it works for PS4, PS5, it works for all those things. Besides, I mean, Switch and all that. But for those type of things, so like these type of consoles that have USBs and the type of cords it takes, uh, it is really easy to set up on those. So, there are two cords currently plugged in. Now, just a little uh, thing before you buy this, um, there is a shifter that comes with all of this, but the shifter, um, it, it comes separately, so I didn't get it, but it is totally possible to get it without the shifter and just kind of automatically shift in car driving games. But uh, as you can see, I have two of these cords plugged into the pedals and power output. And then we also have the shifter here. This is, if you have a shifter, it plugs right there. And that, besides uh, plugging in this USB here to the PC, that is about it for setup. It's just about placing them somewhere. So real quick, we are going to start it up. Uh, it is on the floor right now. But we are going to see what this thing does when it does start up. See, there it goes. So now it's on and it's plugged in. It does that. It spins around a couple times automatically and it turns on. Uh, if it is blinking, that means it is not turned on. Uh, I don't remember what I completely like did for that. But that just means it's not on. Uh, and we gotta make sure that my PC turns on here. And it's gonna do it again. I'm not sure if it does it for every PC, but it, that's what it does for me for some reason. I don't really know how to explain why, but real quick, we're just going to get this thing set up on the desk and show you guys what it's like to use this thing. Alright guys, just think of this as a POV for me. Oh, looks like the locks. The locks on this thing aren't the absolute best and not really the tightest, but uh, there's always a way to fix it, I guess. Hopefully, that stays on for the rest of the video. Probably won't, though. So, 
Here we are. Uh, I so with this POV, it's gonna be a lot harder for me to control and everything. Cause I mean, I have to reach down because I'm short. <laughs> but uh, this is kind of how it works. Uh, as you guys can see in Forza, the wheel is turning in complete sync with my wheel, and it is working. We have advanced controls here now. When I first started out with this wheel, uh, it actually like jolted around and the controls were horrible i couldn't even drive and i played with them for about an hour and got the best settings for me now this is not the best settings for everybody but there are a few things that you're probably gonna want to fix whenever you're in this so first of all okay here i'm just gonna show all the settings because these are practically default settings except there are a few changes to the settings and it makes it just a little bit easier to kind of control this so as you guys can see all the inside dead zones are at zero because we don't want a dead zone there and then the outside are at a hundred the linearity is that linear mapping setting just default I'm just showing all the important ones Which again you guys can copy all these for the most optimal settings now the feedback scale I have it at zero Basically, you just want to have the sensitivities, like this is the last setting down here, up to date. Steering sensitivity at zero because this sensitivity is crazy and you're going to want it whenever you have this type of thing. But uh, yeah, that is uh, really about it for that. And for one last thing, if you want to make it just a little bit easier, traction control and stability control are recommended because... It is very hard to get used to driving with a wheel, especially if you've, like, actually just never driven, actually. But, uh, I mean, I have to say, sorry for my fingers getting in the way sometimes, too. I'd say that, I mean, the game itself is pretty good, or the controller itself is pretty good. But the only thing, the only complaints I would have for this is that, one, it's not too easy to get optimal settings on most games, which, I mean, that's just technology-wise. But the biggest thing I've seen is that these locks are very irritating to move and fix and do all that, and the wheel falls off quite a lot, and you have to kind of fix it, the little mount here. It, it just, there could be some improvements, but I really feel like this is probably one of the most optimal ones out there. I haven't tried any, but this steering wheel is definitely recommended for just an easy setup, an easy way to do this. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be about it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope this helped you out with the Logitech G920. Ooh, is that a and, uh, bus? If you have any more questions about it, please leave me some in the comments below. I would be happy to answer you guys' questions. And uh. I guess that'll be it for now. Her a con performance. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. Oops.